Uh, I'm Katie McGee. I'm a dispatcher for the city of Des Moines. I work the second watch. I'm a supervisor. We are here today to talk about um, dispatch and hopefully to encourage the community to apply. Des Moines 911, do you need police, fire, or mental health services? The whole entire country is having staffing issues and our 911 communication center is no different. We've had over the course of last year around roughly a 5% increase in our call volume, which is a lot. Can you tell right now if he's breathing at all? This job is demanding, um, but if you're right for this job, it is also extremely rewarding. I've been here for almost 19 years as a dispatcher because I fell in love with this job. I personally think that this is the hub of the city. We're the first line of communication. You pick up the phone, you need help, you call 911. You pick up the phone, you want a police officer or a medic, you call this center, that's where everything starts. Okay, do you know how to do CPR? Is in a good position to start doing chest compression? You're talking to somebody on their worst day 200 times maybe. Rather than it being mundane when you work here, you are making a difference every time you pick up that phone. Okay, I'm gonna count them out for you, okay? Are you ready? I want you to keep pace with me. One, two, three, four. We really look for people that can multitask, stay calm, that realize that working as a 911 dispatcher is bigger than themselves. Yep, the paramedics be there in just a second. I'm gonna keep counting out chest compressions. If you're determined, if you're a good listener, uh, if you're driven to help. They're right there, ma'am. You're doing a good job. They'll be coming up in just a second. If you are passionate um, and you want to be part of something bigger than yourself, this really might be the job for you. Learn more and apply today at dsm.city/jobs.